Hello, my name is Kami Ukul Casey. I'm a manager in Stanislaus County Substance Use Disorder Services. Today we are bringing you an introduction to substance use disorder well-being. But before we get started, I want to identify some normal feelings that people often experience in a disaster, including sadness related to loss of normal routine, social connections, and anxiety related to loss of income, working from home, or trying to navigate distant learning with children. All of these things are normal reactions to abnormal circumstances. Some have established coping skills that have worked in the past, and some of these coping skills may no longer be available to them, such as going to the gym, hanging out with friends, or simply doing activities outside of the home, all which can be part of a routine, just done in a different way. So here are our tips. Identify your emotions. You can use journaling, meditation, or talking to a support person for help. Accept the reality of the situation along with the fact that you, we can only control what is within our reach. Let go of what we cannot control. Be aware of where your focus is. Try to focus on the positives. Create a gratitude list. Identify all the things that are going right in your life. Limit your exposure to the media and the news. Focusing on the negative can evoke unwanted stress and anxiety. We can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control the way that we respond. Our response is the, our greatest power. Stay connected. With social distancing, this may be tough for some. Social distancing does not mean isolation. Isolation can be dangerous for some. Utilize technology such as phone or Zoom or FaceTime to communicate with friends and other support systems. You can even have FaceTime lunches, FaceTime meetings, or even FaceTime a friend and watch a movie together. Stay busy, keep a routine, and enjoy activities that fulfill you. Make a daily schedule routine. Sticking to a routine is important in maintaining a sense of control. In your schedule, include things such as a time to wake up, exercise, activity, outdoor time, journaling time, TV time, and don't forget to include laughter. Watch a comedy on Netflix, laugh with others, and be sure to share with others what made you laugh each day. Finally, utilize your resources. We are here for you. Here at BHRS, we have many treatment providers offering telephone and Zoom treatment sessions. Reach out to your existing treatment provider or call 1-888-376-6246 to request a referral to treatment. We hope that these tips are useful to you during this pandemic as well as in the future. Stay safe.